Today we're going to begin a series on the Psalms, and I'm super excited. I'm not going to do really long teachings, but very short teachings that cover the Psalms. And I believe the Psalms are very important for all times, but especially for times like this. If you don't know much about the Psalms, they're actually a prayer book. They, they, they have been a prayer book of the ancient Jews. You know, these Psalms are really about 3,000 years old. You know, they come across a, a span of time. Um, they're not all written by David. Uh, they're written by, some, many of them are written by David, but there's a variety of them. Um, and, and you know, the, maybe the good thing about the Psalms is that the Psalms reflect so much of life. You know, if life has these moments of great joy and these moments where life is kind of mundane. And it has these moments where life is sort of in the valley. And, and that's, that's the vocabulary you find in the Psalms. You know, and if your prayers or your worship are really just one dimensional. If they always sound, you know, like like exhilarating high mountaintop joy, or if you're always chasing the mountaintops of life, and, or or if your prayers are always reflecting that, they're probably very one dimensional. They're probably not really coming down and living reality in all of the ebbs and flows of life, because our life, whether we like it or not, is filled with seasons and with changes. And there are moments of just great joy. There are moments of great sadness and sorrow as well. Um, and so the Psalms are where we go to find vocabulary to inform our prayer and our worship. Let me say it again. That's super important. The Psalms are a place we can go to find vocabulary to inform our prayers and our worship. That doesn't mean the rest of the scriptures can't do that as well. Of course they can. But the Psalms are a great place to find some of that kind of vocabulary to inform it. And they really resonate with us as we read through the Psalms. And so I'm really excited for us over the next few weeks or however long to take a look and just journey through the Psalms and see what they say. We won't be going Psalm by Psalm, but I'm just going to pick out selections of Psalms and I'm going to give us a variety. We'll find a variety of different voices as we look at the Psalms. And so I just want to encourage you to join with me as we take a look at them together. This is sort of just going to be an introduction of why I think we should look at the Psalms, why I think they're important, because you're going to find Psalms of lament, of great sorrow. We're going to have Psalms that just are like high praise. God is awesome. He's big and he's victorious. And we need those as well, right? Um, and so I'm appreciative for, for what the Psalms have done for, for me and my heart as I've read them over the years extensively and, uh, and also how they have been treated and read and observed and, and cherished by ancient Christianity all through the ages, as well as ancient uh, Judaism as well, and how they have, have uh, loved these words. And I pray that, that, that they would be something. We cherish God's word, and, and particularly I think we should cherish the Psalms because they lead us to prayer and they lead us to worship. All right, so anyway, hope you join me in our next videos.